In your weekend house call this morning, millions of women suffer from polycystic ovarian syndrome. WDSU medical editor Dr. Corey Abear tells us it's a common disorder and it can be hereditary. Polycystic ovarian syndrome affects a woman's menstrual cycle and fertility. Commonly known as PCOS, it's the most common hormonal disorder in women. Affecting 5 to 7 million American women, PCOS occurs when the ovaries and the adrenal glands produce excess male hormones or androgens. These hormones interfere with ovulation. Instead of eggs being released each month, they build up in small pearl-sized cysts in the ovaries. The first sign of PCOS is usually irregular or absent menstruation. Other signs include acne, abnormal facial and body hair growth, and thinning of the hair that resembles male pattern baldness. Because ovulation is irregular in women with PCOS, they often have a hard time getting pregnant naturally. In addition to infertility, PCOS puts women at increased risk for metabolic syndrome, sleep apnea, weight gain, heart disease, and some cancers. Doctors aren't sure what's behind PCOS, but they do know it's hereditary. Also, they think that it may be connected to insulin resistance, which is common in women with PCOS. Insulin resistance causes an elevated level of insulin in the bloodstream, which increases the risk for type 2 diabetes and makes the ovaries overproduce androgens, triggering and worsening PCOS symptoms. We diagnose PCOS with a physical exam, a blood test, and a pelvic ultrasound. We also must eliminate the possibility of other hormonal disorders before arriving at a final diagnosis. There are a few lifestyle changes you can make to relieve PCOS symptoms regulate your menstrual cycle, and possibly regain fertility. First of all, women with PCOS should eat a balanced diet and exercise. It's the first recommendation doctors will make for PCOS. A simple 5% weight loss can ease many symptoms and reduce the risk of complications. There are several medications women can take to treat PCOS and its effects as well. They include birth control pills, fertility medications, and antiandrogens. If you have any of the symptoms that I mentioned today, please talk to your doctor and get evaluated. I'm medical editor Dr. Corey Bear with your weekend house call. And this morning